Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're solving lead code 735 asteroid collision. <laughs> Sounds like a Travis Scott album. But anyway, um, it's marked as medium, but usually I don't care about this because a lot of times you see a very difficult problem marked as easy and a very easy problem marked as difficult, so I don't pay attention to this. But anyways, you guys feel free to pause the video and read through this. However, I'm just gonna explain what is going on right here. One um, second, let me get my word. So in this example, if we get an input array, uh, let me use black. If we get an input array or a list in this case, since we're using Python as always, five, 10 and five, okay? Like example one, okay? Keep in mind that the numbers signify the magnitude while the signs signify the direction. Positive number is going from left to right, left to right, while a negative number is going from right to left, okay? In this case, if these two asteroids are going along the same axis, they are gonna collide. And based on the problem, if they collide, the bigger number cancels out the smaller number. In this case, 10 is bigger than five, so 10 cancels it out. So what is left is five and 10, okay? In this case, they are both traveling in the same direction, so nothing happens, this is our final array, okay? In the second example, okay, we have eight and eight traveling along the same axis but different directions. Eight is traveling positive, this is traveling negative. What happens? Since they are of equal magnitude, they cancel each other out. So our result is just an empty list, okay? And the last example we have, let's see what it is. Okay, yep. In the last example we have two, one, one, two. Again, negative direction right to left positive positive direction left to right okay in this case this array is never meets these numbers this asteroid never meets because they're traveling in different direction so typically when i see a problem like this i think stack okay and again you add to a stack and you pop out a stack if you know um data structures stack is just a data structure where it's last in first out so meaning i want to loop through this list whatever my input list is if there's a positive value i just want to add him to stack okay so in this case in the first time five is positive second time ten is positive i'm going to add him to, the, to, to our stack okay however once a negative value comes in okay negative five once he comes in while we keep getting negative values coming in in our loop i want to take that negative value and compare his magnitude so in this case i'm going to compare 10 to the next value that wants to enter my stack to so negative five well since it's a negative, I compare them to five because I know they're gonna collide because the positive comes before the negative, okay? Since 10 is greater than five, what do I do? I just forget about this guy, do nothing. However, in the case where maybe 10 is less than five, I guess this is not gonna be possible but because 10 is never less than five, but if we had an element in our stack and the next element that wants to come in is negative but has a greater magnitude, so let's say 15, say 15 was the next element coming in, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this guy in and add the 15 in. So in this example, our array is gonna look something like five and 15. And then we're gonna to have to compare the five and 15 since they're traveling in opposite direction. And in this case, the array is gonna end up being negative 15 in this example. But this is not the example we're giving. In the example we're giving, 10 is bigger. So 10 is gonna cancel out five, and this is gonna be a fine array. So like I said, let's put pen to paper or keyboard to code, and let's start coding. As always, we use Python here because this is just the best language. So first I want to create my stack. So I'm going to create an empty list called results. Okay. So now, like we said, for A in, okay, it's always good to always copy and paste as much as you can when coding. That way you avoid some silly errors due to, due to spellings and stuff. Okay. For A in this, like we said, if A is positive. What do I want to do? I just want to add A to my stack. So result.append. Okay, that's how you add to an array in Python with the append command. Okay. Else, okay, this is the case where A is zero or his, uh, again, you can assume no zeros will be given, but a case where A is negative. Okay. Then we, if A is negative, we just want to keep looping. While we keep getting negatives, we just want to keep going. So while the length, of results okay while well, we have some elements in results result is not empty 
and the last element of result which is the previous element we added in our previous loop again we're gonna visualize this code after and see what's going on okay it's greater than zero and the last element in result his magnitude is greater than absolute value the magnitude of a okay like we said on white paper we're comparing the values okay we want to okay let me paste in this case we want to pop him out of the array okay so now still in the while loop okay we're still in the while loop if the length of result if the length of result equal equal zero or result the last element of result is negative what do we want to do we want to append okay we want to add the element to the result l if in this case okay l if the last element of result okay it's equal to the so this is the case like the examples of the h where it's equal then we want to pop when we want to pop both of them pop the last element and also forget about this a once you're done going through this okay and you're done through our for loop we want to return result okay um, I believe this is correct let's go ahead and check it out and see hmm. Hmm, let's see what I'm doing wrong sorry guys I had to pause the video to debug it but apparently it looks like this guy should be out of the while loop so i think that's what i'm doing wrong. you only want to leave loop and keep popping when negatives keep coming okay let's try this now and hopefully this is correct this time okay good 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 so we're faster than okay runtime is 96 milliseconds we're faster than 71 percent of solutions we're using less memory so in memory we could do better but uh i'll take this as a win so as always we like to step through our code just to visualize what's going on again I just copied and pasted this again this is the exact same function we wrote however i created this driver code again just so we can step through this code and see what's actually going on so yeah without further ado let's jump right into it okay so yeah so we've created our input array norms and we're calling our asteroid collision function right now okay so now this is our the scope of the function this is the global scope okay so now in the first loop a is five okay that's expected a is five hold on i think this is might be too small i might have to zoom in a little bit so yeah so a is five okay so what do we want to do we want to result is an empty list right now but in the next line of execution a is greater than zero so we want to append result so this a should be the first element in this result in the next two lines yep so result now has one item okay next a is going to be 10 and then this if statement is 10 is greater than 0 so this is gonna get appended to results so results should have so a should be 5 and results should have 5 and 10 yep okay so now the next item a is gonna be negative 5 and we, we, we're not gonna go here because negative 5 is less than this we're gonna go in this loop and once we go in this loop there's some elements in results results minus 1 is greater than 0 because it's 10 here the previous value result minus 1 is greater than the absolute value of 10 yeah 10 is greater than absolute value of negative 5 so we should pop 10 out of the list once we iterate through the next step okay so yeah so he, he's at the wow loop right now keep in mind the green is where he's currently at the red is the next line to execute okay so we should pop 10 soon boom so yeah so we popped we didn't add negative 5 why because negative 5 is less than 10 so our return value is 5 and 10 that's it for the video guys i'll see you guys on the next one